Hi, I'm Becky Stern, and today we're talking about Arduino sleep and interrupts. When you're making an Arduino project, you might run up against the limitations of its single-threaded processing. For instance, if you have a long pixel animation and you want your circuit to always respond to a digital input, like a button, you could use something called an interrupt to do just that. And if you want to reduce the power consumption of your circuit, say if it's meant to run on battery power for a long amount of time, you can put the circuit to sleep and use an interrupt to wake it up again when something important happens. These two concepts build on our previous topics around beginner Arduino. So check out the full playlist if you're just getting started. Hardware interrupts do what they sound like. They interrupt the program that's running on your Arduino. They are only available on certain pins, which will be specified in your board's documentation. The processor can continuously monitor these special pins, even while running its normal program, such as a pixel animation with a lot of cycles. So I've wired up a circuit that connects a momentary push button to one of the interrupt pins and five volts. In my code, I'll attach an interrupt to that pin. There are three settings the pin can detect, and you'll want to specify which one you prefer. Rising, low to high, falling, high to low, and change, which is either rising or falling. So now my program can monitor user input with the interrupt pin, and I can also tell it to move to the next LED animation when the interrupt is triggered. This is a very useful upgrade to the NeoPixel costume we made in a previous episode, and will make the button much more responsive during long animations. To use Arduino's different sleep modes, we're going to use the Arduino Low Power Library, which comes with a bunch of examples to get you started. The sleep modes differ by how much of the device gets shut down. Say you're making a temperature and humidity logger, and you only need a reading once a minute. You could use deep sleep with a timer to wake up for the sensor reading, then sleep the rest of the time, and the device will consume significantly less power. There are also light sleep, standby, and idle modes that each provide more access to features, but also use more current. The Arduino docs explain the differences between these modes in more detail. You can use an interrupt to wake up the Arduino from its sleep mode, like a digital input, or even a sensor input through the analog digital converter. Using the same circuit as earlier, I'm able to put the microcontroller in low power mode and attach an interrupt to wake it back up. There's an example in the Arduino low power library for this called external wake up. Interrupts and power management are advanced topics, but hopefully you've learned that there are some simple ways to use sleep modes and interrupts to make your projects more responsive and use less power. I've put links to some resources in the description. Post up your resources for Arduino sleep and interrupts in the comments so we can all learn together. Check out the playlist for the rest of the videos in this series and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks for watching.